Hi everyone. So uh, I'm just trying to explain over here the concept of modified duration in debt funds. Uh, like we saw in our previous video, uh, DSP BlackRock had a modified duration of 2 where, as the YTM was close to 9.5%. ICICI long term fund has a mod had a modified duration of 6 and YTM of 7%. I have taken for simplicity, uh, I have removed the decimal points just for the sake of calculations. Now this particular formula, this particular formula total returns is equal to YTM minus MD plus minus change in interest rate. This is not a, not a book formula but this is more of a thumb rule to you know explain you the, uh, the modified duration. So total returns of the fund is equal is equal to YTM minus modified duration plus minus the change in interest rate. So if the interest rate goes down, it's minus something and if the interest rate goes up, it's plus something. Now, you know, just to explain you the sensitivity that modified duration tells you about. You know, the total returns, let's take DSP BlackRock for example, the YTM is 9.5%. Uh, let's say the uh, RBI cuts the repo rate by 0.5%. My interest, uh, so cut uh, if the RBI cuts it by 0.5%, uh, this will this factor will become minus. So minus minus becomes plus. So my in, uh, my returns will be 9.5% plus minus 1%, depending on whether the rate has rates have gone up or down. So if you see, it doesn't. Well, the rate of interest doesn't make too much of an impact in accrual fund. It's just a matter of about 1% here and there, even if we uh, take about 0.5% of interest rate change, which usually doesn't happen in one go. Uh, you know, there is, there is generally a change of about 0.25% here and there. But in a rate cut scenario, the returns goes up to 10.5% in a rate downward scenario we are basically the YTM goes up and the returns are close to about 9.75 10 odd percent in in accrual funds now if we see uh, ICICI long term fund uh, which is a duration product which is an income or a dynamic product you can say the YTM is 7 percent and the modified duration is 6 odd percent so my sensitivity goes up six times so if let's say there is a rate down or a rate hike, the differential in returns is close to 3% as compared to 1% in this particular fund. So let's, let's take a, let's take a bad example, right? Let's say we keep the YTMs as same and let's say instead of a rate cut, there is a rate hike in the economy. Your accrual funds will still end up getting 8.5%, but in a, a in a dynamic slash income funds, your returns will go down by about 3% and will come down to 4 odd percent per annum. So hence, you know, we we see these factors when we are uh, when we are finalizing our our list of. Uh, recommended debt funds we see that you know the more the ytm the better it is less the modified duration the better it is because it, it eliminates the interest rate risk associated to a debt fund uh, so generally we keep the modified duration between one to two percent not more than that and a ytm we look at about 9.5 percent to about 10.5 percent if we get that kind of a ytm you know, so that even if, if there is a rate cut, our, our basically interest goes up to 11.5%, but even if, if there is a rate hike, the interest doesn't go down very much. So, and whereas in a income and duration funds, the, it's, it's very volatile. It's very, very sensitive uh, to the interest rate scenario in the market. And hence, you know, we, we recommend uh, uh, uh income and dynamic funds only to people who have a horizon of close to about three to five years whereas we are more bullish and more recommend we recommend more accrual uh and corporate bond funds rather than uh the income and duration products i hope it was clear so 
you know this modified duration is the factor it tells you the interest rate sensitivity that a product has the returns has to the change in interest rate this is again not a not a book formula this is more of a of a general thumb rule uh, of how things happen hope hope this video video blog was uh, was uh, was informative it helped you in some way or the other uh, informed you more about the markets informed you more about the financial products uh, do uh, do comment do like us do subscribe our channel uh, we have we've been receiving a lot of comments from your end and uh, some personal messages as well thank you so much thank you for uh, for supporting us uh, and uh, see you in the next feed thank you bye